what's going on guys, look here with League Sports Cards. Um, I'm going to apologize, it's been about 7 to 10 days since we posted the video up. Uh, I've been working furiously on the website here uh, to get it up and running. Um, unfortunately, negotiations did not go our way on a number of different things. And I figured since delay it and dump a bunch of money into litigation, I said let's, let's just go a different way. So the website will be Big League SC, so Big League Sports Cards, BigLeagueSC.com. And... Um, Obviously, we'll have direct pricing on our cards, um, hobby boxes, retail boxes, as well as some of our services that have kind of been they're available, but we haven't been able to publish them, which includes piggybacking on submissions, both PSA, which is now um, they notify me directly that my account is open and they are processing my orders, um, as well as SGC. Um, so we got a 100 card order coming back here soon. Hopefully, that'll be up um, on video within the next probably 10 days, maybe or so. And um, as well as consignments and pre-grading services that we are now offering along on top of the piggyback as additional service. So um, the website looks to be great um, in terms of for a, a collector or a hobby enthusiast as the services that I would want um, offered obviously at a reasonable price. So that's what we're all about here because once again, my story is, hey, I've been a collector for 30 years um, and um, I've been about the people who have been into the hobby uh, and I said about making money for me, yes, a profit is nice, but at the end of the day, it's not the end-all be-all for me. I like to get into cards, um, sorting, <laughs> organizing, pre-grading, um, uh, mailing out. Um, it, uh, it's, 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 my, it's a passion for me. I enjoy it. So that's what we do. Sorry, but that was a little bit of a prelude into the video. I mean, I'll do a whole new video on the, on the website and what's to come. But anyway, it's bigleaguesc.com. Uh, hopefully, it'll be up and running by next Tuesday morning full force, but we're going to get into this, which is our football mixer. Retail, Donruss, uh, 16, 17, and 18. So we got a 16 hanger pack here, um, which I love hanger packs. Um, everybody knows that, right? I'm a big retail fan of certain items, right? Uh, a lot of things, they do work. Um, hanger boxes are generally a go, uh, almost no matter what sport you're looking at. Um, <laughs> either the parallels or the uh, inserts just seem to seem to be really really good especially in baseball um but uh they work out well then we got a couple of retail packs here on 17 and then our 18 hanger of football as well so <clears throat> sit back enjoy we'll see what we can get i'll leave some major players in each year that we're looking for you guys know what they are i'm not going to go through them again but uh we'll see how it plays out but uh this is always a fun way to go um Especially if you could get these or stock these or find them at the at the Walmart uh, discount, which I found a bunch of these on. I went long ago, maybe two three weeks ago. Uh, bought all they had there in the clearance rack, and um, which is interesting. And it, to be honest, the other day at it was the same Walmart, and I don't know why I didn't get it. I have no idea why. It was a blaster of sixteen uh, optic football, brand new, sitting there, uh, no discount on it because it. Probably been pulled from a who knows where it got pulled from, but it was sitting there brand new. And why I didn't get it, I have no idea. Like I said, I, I blew it on that one. I just uh, wasn't thinking right. But uh, it was there, uh, sitting there with all the 20, 2020 products. So um, we'll go through this. We'll go through the base real quick. Um, interesting design back in 16, in case you hadn't seen it. Uh, not one of my favorites. I don't like this speckle at the top. I wish they went with a solid color, maybe a vertical stripe or something. But uh, anyway. Um, is what it is, Emmett. Um, so that's what they put out, and that's what we got. Romo, and this is also, uh, I'm trying to think, this is Romo's last year as a card, yeah. Romo's last year. Now I'm trying to think if there's anybody in here who may have had a second year or a nice third year. Not really, right? I mean, it's kind of fun to say, you know, Alex Smith, but um, obviously we'd like to keep the you know, insert of um, any of the. You know, all-time leaders and quarterbacks, talking about Breeze and, um, obviously, the GOAT. Um, you can throw, you know, well, you can't throw, not in that, um, there's a Gurley in that class, but um, if you pick up a, a nice a Rivers or something like that as an insert-wise. But these are the base cards. I don't want to take us so long on them. I've got them a million times. And then the inserts are in the middle towards the back, then you get all the rookies. Uh, Dog just came in. He's a... Uh, at their age, so I gotta pay him special attention. So Legends of the Fall, nice, and it is a Tom Brady green. And I don't think these are numbered, but they are retail 
and the centering looks pretty good on that and it's kind of fun if you're like well it's just a you know base card right well you know what this is worth submitting um because there are big time tom brady collectors so this is you know what uh, i don't need to pay 10 bucks for the for the box or five bucks for you i don't know what it was but um a, you know nice example of a, a dollar card that could be a 30 to 40 dollar card um that's so that's a that's a nice pull right there um the touchdown this was not a bad terrible insert because to me there was no um creativity behind the inserts in the 16 product they just kind of threw a thing and they're like it's it looks like a base card they just threw something at the top and it's plus a white outline it's pretty bad but what you gonna do leaders i mean some of these like all time Joe atkins that's actually not a bad looking card um i do like this set um there's a nice hall of famer there ronnie um it's kind of funny. So <laughs> obviously Don Russ owns the rights to their cards, but the footballs don't look anything like that on the uh, 86 or 87 set. But actually this card looks pretty darn clean. They have the kind of the rainbow or the foil look at the bottom there. Um, nice looking card. And then we get into some of these other ones, these yards. That's here our Raider Ricky is. Uh, Hogan. Ricky of Redmond. Williams. And, yeah, sorry about that. So I reached the maximum recording uh, capacity of the <laughs> video there. So uh, my bad for not checking at the beginning. Uh, that can happen sometimes. But anyway, that's the end of that uh, hanger box. Nothing, uh, well, the Brady was actually pretty nice. Obviously, a nice card in there. So we'll get into the 70 product. He threw it to the packs. I'm trying to make eight card. This, I can't remember if there's a configuration for, I think it's a configuration for blasters. I think. <clears throat> so I think it's... Uh, Basically, at the very end, you get a insert and a rookie and or a rookie. Uh, so there's a Julius Peppers. And a rookie is Mikael Dupree. Go with Packers. Interesting. Uh, next. I think uh, the previous video, we get two Mahomes back-to-back, -back, which is nice. I got a decent one coming up here. Uh, Bradford. Legend Series. Oh, that's cool. So the Brett Favre Legend Series. Come on, which I do love. Any of the Legends or Elite Series. But they're not stuck to It's like air. One of those air sticks, you know what I mean? Where it's just like... There you go. So, um, this really is a nice product of the base product. That's cool. There's that. And then we got a nice Juju. We'll check on the centering, see what we got. And a little bit... Yeah, a little bit bigger on the right, obviously. So, you kind of look at... Uh, I look at this stripe... Because it's easier, I think, visually for me compared to that stripe. And obviously, we got a little bit more depth or length on the right-hand side. So, um, cards in great condition. A uh, little Chad on that corner there. I'm going to do a video how to remove Chads, which to me is more frustrating than a ding. It's like, uh, well, you don't have enough card, but having too much card like that to me is a Chad. You see that sticking down right there? You barely see it. Uh, you only see it in a certain light. There we go. So, it's not that there's a ding on the card. It's got a Chad, a little too much paper sticking down but i'll show you how to get get those smoothed out to get a nice sharp clean corner so there's a nice juju i'll let it go in the store probably a couple bucks um the cool card um let's keep going i think we're gonna do three reps tonight because it's been so long i just had to take a break from the website i was going cross-eyed um yeah, just trying to make it perfect, guys. I want it to be something that everybody can use and be easy to navigate and find stuff in. And wow, what a sh crappy pack. Was there not a nothing in there? Wow. That's a search pack, guys. Because, yeah, they don't come out that way. How many cards are in? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Yeah, well, there's one rookie in there. Did I miss something? Hmm. It's just the worst pack in history. Um, interesting. Anyway, that goes over there. So that's the 87. Aren't you 87? Oh, wow. 17. There's 18 here. So for this Panini product, they're at the bottom. Nope, and they're in the middle. And of course, forget how to open this one. That's what kills me. The 16 product are at the bottom. The 18, you open the side, which has a little pocket there for you. You don't have to break anything. And there you go. So, yes, uh, I get confused sometimes. Don't remember that. And this, uh, quote, cello pack is a lot different than the 16 pack in terms of 
cheese, I guess material is the best way to put it, what it's made out of. And there's nothing like the other one. Yeah, this one kind of begs apart like a true cellophane pack. Well, the other one's kind of more plasticky. Oh, uh, let's see here. If we can break this off. Yep. Boom. Just like that. Wow. We'll flow through these real quick. Look like I got a braid or something. If they're in there. Let's see. Let me see. I'm going to do it upside down. <laughs> Challenge myself. We'll pick out a uh, Mahomes, a Briggy, a Breeze, and that's it. Everything else goes. Nope. I don't think I missed anything. You guys help me out if I did. And let's get into this. So, green parallels in this one, green press proofs. So like a Green Raider rookie in there. That's nice. Let's see. Uh, Tate. Nyoku. And DJ Moore. Not bad. I haven't pulled that card yet before. It certainly looks fantastic on that. And I, one thing I do like about the green press proof is the green down rest they put in there. That's uh, really nice. Nice looking card. Talented guy, too. And a Josh Rosen. We'll see what uh, his career has and so forth. It may be interesting. He may be one of those guys that's like his third or fourth year in the league to where he finally comes out and does something, I'm not going to say productive, because he can't. It's only a matter of opportunity, right? Uh, nice Kareem Hunt. Uh, Team Heroes. We got here a uh, Elite Series Leonard Fournette. Legends Namath. We got uh, all-time Great Iron Kings, the bus. That's cool. Sold a couple of those. Nice pack here. All-time Great Iron Kings, Howie Long. Legend Series, uh, TD. Nice, nice pack. I do like the inserts of this stuff, though. That's what I do like. I know that they're always that pop, you know, popular, especially some of the quote older players. There's nice Alvin Kamara, um, the '88 throwback. And then we get to some of the inserts that I don't really care about that much. Highlights. Man, uh, that's the name of one set. That one actually sells decently. Uh, Red rookie of uh, Traquan. Derwin James, nice card. Walton. It's Patrick. Back to that one. So, um, definitely the 18 hanger packs have a lot of opportunity in them. So, if you guys see those, uh, pick them up, man. I mean, those inserts there were pretty nice. Um... I like said, not the you know huge rookie hit, but uh, they're out there, right? You get a green press beef of Lamar or something like that, you're you're certainly pretty decent. That's cool. Hope you guys enjoyed the break. Um, let me know what you think. Um, I'm gonna do a couple more breaks coming up tonight, only because when I'm way behind on just opening stuff, and there's a lot of stuff in the corner to open, and uh, I've been kind of starving the website of decent material, so or the uh, YouTube page. Um, check you guys later. Thank you. Appreciate it.